Hello, I'm Steve. This is Bit of Munch. And in this video, I'm going to be putting an Iceland Chicken Tikka Kiev in an Indian Spiced Wrap. Now, I've got this idea from another channel, and uh, I'll give her a shout out, Siobhan's Life. Um, I watch her channel quite a lot, and what she did, she put a um, garlic chicken Kiev in a bread roll with some cheese. And I thought, hmm, that's a good idea. What can I do that's a bit different? Because I didn't want to do exactly the same. So <clears throat> I thought, I wonder if there's any unusual chicken Kievs about. So of course I went to Iceland, didn't I? If you want anything unusual food-wise, you go to Iceland. And I saw these new chicken tiga Kievs, which are 185. And first of all, I was going to put that in a roll. And then, I happened to see on the ASDA website, these Delhi Kitchen Indian Spiced Wraps, which were 175. As you can see, I've already opened them. I haven't tried them yet. It's just, uh, it's, it says easy open. I thought, I bet it isn't, and it wasn't. <laughs> right, you get six in a pack. So what I'm gonna do, you can probably hear my air fry going away in the background there. Not sure how long it's going to take because it doesn't give you air fryer instructions on the uh, on the box. But um, there's one of the wraps. Let's just see what it's like. Hmm. Hmm. I like that. A bit of heat to it as well. Yeah, it says six tortilla wraps made with white and wholemeal wheat flour and mixed herbs and spices. And the herbs and spices are fenugreek leaf, chilli pepper, ground coriander, ground turmeric, ajwain seeds. I've never heard of ajwain seeds. That's A-J-W-A-I-N. Have you heard of them? Uh, and dried parsley. Any other bits in there, diglyceroids of this and that and the other. Um, yeah, it's typical, it's what you'd expect really, it's typical Indian spices flavours. Um, but really nice, reasonably strong flavour, and a little bit of chilli in the background. Hang on. You might have seen, I reviewed this recently, Gita's Tomato and Chilli Masala Ketchup. I bet that would be good on one of these. Oh, I bet it will. Just a really good ketchup. Let's just try a bit of that. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. I could just eat that just like that. Get a wrap, put a load of ketchup in it, roll it up and eat it. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really nice. I'm going to try a bit more of that. Right. Hmm. <clears throat> I will pause you and I'll bring you back. Hmm. <clears throat> when it's done. And I'm back. Right, it took about 20 minutes in total in the air fryer. I thought it was done, cut it in half and the sauce was still cold. So anyway, here it is. And also I've got in there some red peppers. And there it is. As you can see, I've cut the Kiev into four. Still steaming away a little bit there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, cut the Kiev into four, because I thought if I put it in one, it'll just be a lump in the middle, but I want it spread out, don't I? Because when Siobhan tried hers, she burnt her mouth on the garlic sauce inside, the garlic butter. And also, I didn't want that happening. I will put a link to Siobhan's channel down below, by the way. Right, I'm just wrapping my wrap. 
So there it is. There's my chicken tikka Kiev. Uh, in he <laughs> said, looking at the packs, Indian spiced wrap, wrap. Right. I didn't put any more sauce in. Oh, I've demolished that other wrap, by the way, while I was waiting for this to cook. And uh, yeah, yeah, I had an idea. I thought these wraps would make an excellent base for a pizza. Because I've made several um, tortilla pizzas. Well, more than several. I've made loads. Um, and I thought, yeah, that'd be a really good base. And I was thinking, yeah, but it needed a bit more tomatoey for the base. So, let's put that down for a minute. So, on the other wrap that I was eating, I put a combination of those two sauces on it and tried that. And I think that's going to really work as a, as a pizza. So I will do that at some point. I'll probably end up freezing some of these wraps. Right, here goes. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That works. <laughs> Don't talk with your mouthful, Steve. Okay, mate. Yeah. <laughs> the tikka sauce inside this is quite mild. Um, can I get some? Let's get some on my finger. There we go. It's a very mild, creamy tikka sauce. And yes, it's reformed chicken. But the overall experience in the wrap with the peppers is really good. But, but, <clears throat> it does need a bit more sauce. So, I'm going to put some more of that on it. Here we go. Because it will give it more flavour and more heat. Is that enough? No. A little bit there. Go on. There we go. That's going to be better. Let's do that up. Do this wrap up. And have a go. Hey. Mmm. <laughs> That's better. Actually, it's quite handy that bit fell out. So I'm going to try it on its own. Hmm. It's all right. Like I say, I know it's reformed chicken. For 185 for two, you're not going to get two proper chicken breasts, are you? But it's all right. Yeah, I'd have them again, and I'd do this again. Let me know if you've had anything like that. Um, yeah, give me any any more ideas for things, anything, not necessarily related to this, but any other sort of easy, it's got to be easy food creations I can do. Because I'm no cook, I'm really not. But I can cook, I can heat things up and bung them together, you know, like I've done with this. Yeah, I'd have that again. In fact, I may well, may well have it again, because I've got one more of these uh, chicken breast um, Tika Kievs. So, yeah, anything else I've got to tell you? Is there anything else I've got to tell you? I don't know. I just want to go and eat that. Um, in case you don't know, I always put the prices in the description. So if at any point I forget to tell you the price, I'm sure I've told you the price of these, but you can always find it in the description down below. And also in the description down below, you can find the links to my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Ko-fi page, in case you feel kind enough to make a don little donation to the channel, which really helps me out. Right, thanks for watching. I'm going to go and really enjoy the rest of that. And I will see you in the next video.